You see, the, yeah. the price of, of no executive is the fact that there's a relationship between the Tories and the DUP. And the strategy from the British government all along the last 18 months has been to do nothing because they're in hock to the DUP. But we do believe that you should always give people hope and there's always a way back. We had found a way forward in February that should give us a basis on which to reform the executive. So inevitably all roads will lead us back to negotiation, they lead us back to talks. If we're going to form an executive and work together positively for all people, then it has to be formed on the right basis and that remains our commitment to work the Good Friday Agreement institutions, to get an executive up and running, one that delivers for all people, one that delivers in terms of prosperity. We just spent the afternoon talking to business and industry leaders and clearly they want an executive but they want one that's going to serve them well. They want one that's going to serve all people well because clearly it's not rights versus the economy. Good society, society full of rights will actually lead to a more prosperous society. So that remains the, the commitment from our behalf. And as Mary Lou said, the Intergovernmental Conference will meet. It has the architecture of the Good Friday Agreement and it has the ability in order to remove the obstacles to the power sharing institutions. Sinn Féin, Goanna Nis, Carta Agus Aintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.